yung boses ko. Wait lang guys. Ah. Yo. Check, check. One, two. Malinaw ba? Naririnig ba? Naririnig? Yan, keep the viewers coming, guys. Start in five. Rinig ba guys? Let me know. Kailangan ko palakasan. Let's get this started. Let's just switch to my screen, guys. Hirap maging one-man team. <laughs> Dali. Sana yung screen ko. There you go. Ayun. Hello, guys. Maganda gabi sa inyong lahat. You're here with me, Alex Corner. And welcome to the Trading Comedy. And for tonight, we're gonna do some quick charting sessions. Kakamustahin natin yung index gamit ng lazy approach natin and we'll probably screen some stocks na pwede natin pag tripan for the week so yan simulan na natin so itong chart na to ito yung tinat ko last March so this is a monthly chart of the PSE so I've kind of projected the next bounce to occur mga bandang May so nakikita nyo dito itong black vertical line nakatutok sa 4.618 so tinesting ko lang tong time fib so sinabi niya parang sa may mangyayari yung supposedly recovery so yan meron din akong alt count na ginawa ito yung ginamit kong alt count din sa index pero yeah imposibleng mangyayari to because of what's happening so yon we're going to look at the main story of the index so ito siya so this is a five wave impulse if we're gonna count it so it's something like this so ganyan siya yan yung nangyayari sa ano natin sa index natin ngayon and we're treating this as a probably wave 1 and nakikita natin dito sa baba bumigay na siya <laughs> so it's nangihinalo na tong level na to sa so nakikita natin so start pa naman ng April so baka magkaroon tayo ng place then sa PSEI and if we actually 
move this retracement nandito na yung next levels niya ito yung aabangan natin from 3.7 to 5.6 so baka dito siya maglaro next and for the other time frames sisilipin natin yung weekly meron tayong yan may resistance tayo dito may SAR resistance tayo at around 5.9 so, pwede niya yung bisitahin for the month of April. So, that's why we're expecting short-term plays din sa mga ibang stocks sa index. So, later on after this, we're going to screen some of them. And as for the daily naman, yan, meron uptrend signal si daily, which is here. Binibigay ng parabolic SAR. Pero again, guys, wag kayong... Wag kayong ma-hype, no? Kasi... Ito yung kailangan niyang resistance ng basagin. Next resistance, I mean. Nasa 5 something, 5, 6. Kailangan niya mabasag to. If ever mabasag niya to, ito yung magiging next niya. Hanggang 6, 8 to 7,000. So, baka dito yung maging next lipad niya. And then, untog ulit. So, yeah. Alam niya na nangyayari sa mundo ngayon. <laughs> Hindi ko na siya i-explain. Pero yun. That's what's happening right now. So, we're gonna open the screener titignan natin yung mga pwedeng stocks na pwedeng paglaruan. Uy, hi dids! What's up? Welcome sa aking stream. Congrats pala sa ano? Ano ba? Yeah, congrats sa YouTube grind mo bro. <laughs> Mabot ka na ng 4,000 watch hours. Ako malayo-layo pa. <laughs> but anyway, um, open ko lang yung screener ko. No? Yes, the magic of the sago. <laughs> So anyway, uh, ito yung gagawin natin. No? We're gonna screen some stocks. Actually, yung inisip pong screener instead of the MAs and the uh, RSI, yung usual kong ginagawa, we're gonna, we're gonna do this differently. We're going to filter by net foreign. So in short, yung mga bumibili na foreigners sa ating markets. So we'll try five days. No? Tingnan natin kung sino yung mga net foreign na bumibili for the last 5 days. So tingnan natin kung magkaka kung attractive man yung bibigay na results. So we see here sort natin sa highest. So we have top 5 over here. So kunin natin top 5 or top 10 or kayo. <laughs> Ito muna siguro top 5 no. Net foreign buying in 5 days. Kuha tayo nito. Actually gawin na natin tatlong version ng screener para para masaya marami tayong makita na pwede mapagtripan. Wait lang guys. So open the other screener. Tapos mamaya papakita ko rin yung Bitcoin position ko dito sa virtual. Kung paano ko siya niladaro. Af probably after this. So lahat ng buying ng net foreign yung ifi-filter natin. No? So, so hello kay Dids. Kay Hoy, si Lissander is here. He's here. Thank you sa pagtambay. And then, wait lang. 15 days, run natin. Oops, nakita na yung ano ko. <laughs> Let's run all of these screeners. And then, probably just get top 5. May isa pa. So, ito isang 5, isang 15. Isa sort natin sa highest, no? And then, isang 30. 30 days na net foreign na buying. So, wait lang, patapos na tayo, no? So, low to high tayo. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Net foreign for 30 days. So, lahat ng, ano, buying. Basta bumibili na foreign. Yun yung papagtripan natin ngayong gabi. So, let's just run this. And I'm just gonna sort. And then, yan, okay na yan. So, titignan na natin isa-isa. So, let's go with this one first. So, ito yung top net foreign buying for the past five days on average. So, we have MEG, ICT, ano to. GSMI, oh, GSMI, Ali, and yeah, PLDT. So, tignan natin kung anong ginagawa nila. Ba't sila pinapatulan. So, we're gonna focus more on early charts kasi walang sense maging optimistic ngayon pag sa daily tayo titingin. Since yun nga, bear, bear market ang karamihan ng mundo. You have to focus on the shorter time frames. So, with that said, let's get started. Simula natin si Mega World. Mega world. So, linya-linya lang tayo, guys. Pansin nyo, wala akong candlesticks, no? 
So you can watch my YouTube videos kung paano basahin to. But anyway, ito yung nangyayari ngayon, no? Oh, wow. Daming binili ng foreign kay Mega World. 5.78 million on Friday. Okay. So, tignan natin kung saan siya pwedeng patungo. Just gonna draw this retracement. Actually, ito yung narrative ng karamihan ng mga stocks din ngayon. So, you could probably stick to this blueprint. So, yun ang nangyayari sa kanya. Let's see. Parabolics are support dito sa 2.40-ish. So, pwede kayo dito umabang. But if you think it's gonna break down, itong parabolics are, you could consult this level over here. So, nasa bandang 2.24, 25, pwede kayo dito umabang kung gusto nyong laruin si Meg for a bounce. So, play lang nito. It's, it's just a simple swing trade. Pwede hanggang dito sa 2.64. Or yung kinukwento ko nung nakaraan, just go after MA200 or EMA200 as your maximum target for taking profits pag sa early kayo nakatingin. So, yun lang. <laughs> yun na yung analysis natin for Mega World. O, di ba? bilis lang. So, next naman tayo, we're gonna look at ICT. ICT. Kamusta si ICT? Yun, no? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Ba't ganito to? <laughs> Pero on the bright side, marami rin bumibili na net foreign buying. I'm seeing 23 million. Wow, dami. Daming bumabodega na foreigners. Ano kayo meron dito? But, but yeah, let's draw the retracement. Tingnan natin kung ano yung levels na hahabulin niya. Hmm, okay. Medyo 50-50 ako dito. Ay, hindi. Pwede pala to. 70. Mukhang defended si 70. Check ko nga bidin as nito. Oh, mukhang defended nga, guys. I can see we can see na may malaking bid wall dito mm. that is in this is interesting to look at I guess so again same narrative pwedeng dito lang kayo mag TP 72, 77 pesos no? so bale entry nyo siguro banda dito so cut na lang kayo if hindi mag hold tong 70 so mga ganyan sigurong levels pwede around 68 pababa dun, dun kayo mag cut kundi mag-hold to. And, basing from here, may divergence ba to Parang wala. Let me see. And let us see. Parang meron, no? I think I see one. Eh, yun. Kita, oh. Kita nyo yun, guys. Meron pala. Okay. So, ito yung probable next level niya. Si 70. Pero I wouldn't enter here kasi hindi pa klaro kung ito na talaga yung magiging support niya. I think a better entry would be at around here. Sa so 71? 71.5 pag nag-breakout to. Pwede rin dito. Tapos i-treat nyo tong 70 below as a cut point. So pwede rin ganun yung maging trade plan nyo if ever. Sa so short term lang guys. Ah. And then just take profits either here dito sa last recent resistance niya at around 77-ish hanggang dito sa golden ratio dito sa 87, 84 plus so dito kayo pwede umabang so that's our trade maybe for ICT and again the MA200 resistance ayan pwede rin, pwede rin ito yung i-consult nyo if tingin yung kaya nila pali pa rin to for a few days so there sana tayo next we have three more we have ano to? PLDT. Taya man. Maga. Kumusta kaya to? Tingnan natin. PLDT. Basically, ay, wow. Pumutok na pala siya. So, for PLDT, iba siya sa last two na nakita natin. This is actually above EMA 200. So, yung pwede nyo sigurong play dito, you can do a bounce trade. If you want to see kung matetest niya tong MA 200. Itong 1,000 level, no? Tingnan nyo kung mag-hold siya as support. Pero sa ngayon kasi, pababa pa siya. Ito yung parabolic are <laughs> Naka-downtrend. So, I wouldn't enter right away, no? Tingnan nyo muna kung saan siya mag-hold. So, right now, we're looking at 1,1 and 1,050. So, nandito sa pivot support na to. So, pili kayo dito sa dalawa. Kung saan nyo gusto sumalo. <laughs> Or pwede rin dito. Kay 1,000. For short term place. 
So, yung target nito na sa yeah, golden ratio pa din. You can use this as a reference. So, tingnan nyo sa daily kung may resistance din siya. So, if you watched my YouTube video about time frame switching, you would know what I'm talking about. Ayan. So, mukhang confluence siya. Medyo tugma siya dito sa daily natin. Pero again, ayoko maging masyadong greedy nga sa daily. So, sa ganitong lagay ng market ngayon, dapat sa early lang kayo tumitingin muna. Uh, again nga, hindi kayo maging greedy. So, yan. Tapos na tayo kay PLDT. Dito naman tayo kay Okay, GSMI. Nabuhay ito. <laughs> Hinebra. Oh, siguro. May play din ito. Ayan, mukhang nga may play. Oh, wow. Ganda ng pagka-breakout niya. Tingnan ko lang yung level na tingin natin hahabulin niya. Yeah, I think it's just an EMA 200 play din. So, probably breakout dito. Yeah, decent swing. Pwedeng siguro nilalaro nyo to this week. Kung nakapasok kayo this week, congrats sa inyo. Siguro pumasok kayo at around 30. Oh, this is good gains already. Kung pinestohan nyo to last week. Probably because of, ano ba yung news dito kay Hinebra. Yung kay San Miguel, di ba yung magpaproduce sila ng alcohol. Para sa mga hospitals and the frontliners. Ayun. So probably yun yung catalyst niya for the short term. But we're looking at, ayun, hindi siya mauntog dito. <laughs> Saka yun, isa lang nag-trade. <laughs> isa lang din pala nag-trade noong Friday. So, hindi pala siya, ano, hindi siya masyadong pinapansin. Probably you could take a look at this. Or kung magpansin siya, tingnan niyo kung mag, pagka-breakout ng MA200 dito sa early, tingnan niyo kung magkakaroon ng volume. Kasi ito yung possible target din niya. Pero yeah, sobrang optimistic tong part na to. So, yeah, this will only happen kung maraming mag-participate kay Hinebra. Eh, sa ngayon mukhang isa lang nag-trade nung Friday. So, yun lang. Yun ang makukomment ko sa kanya. So, let's go for the last one for this list and then we're gonna skip to the next one. Yung net foreign naman na 10 days. So, Ayala lang. Kamusta si Ayala lang? <laughs> Actually, gumaganda nga siya. No? Ito yung isa sa mga blue chip na tinitignan ko. Kasi nag-breakout siya. So, if we're gonna measure the lazy fib, ito yung binibigay niya. It's currently mukhang malakas yung support dito sa 78.6. I don't really play pag mga nandito na. No? Pero kung kayo, kung malakas yung tingin nyo makaka-breakout, pwede yung i-trade tong range na to. Probably pwesto kayo dito kung breakout kayo. And just do a conservative play hanggang dito. Hanggang sa untog nito. Pwede ganun yung gawin yung strategy. Or kung wala kayong tiwala dito sa EMA 200, pwede naman dito sa ito. Itong next resistance area na pinapakita niya. It's around 37 to 40 pesos. Ganun. So you could probably take your profits here. Should you plan to make positions here kay Ayala lang. And meron naman siyang uptrend signal din dito. So si Parabolics are nagparamdam din ng uptrend. So lagpas ng lagpas lima na yung toldok. So probably pwede niyo siyang subukan kung gusto niyo. So yon. <laughs> so there's an upside of 11 to 20% depending on how you will enter this stock. So that's what we're seeing for Ayala Land. And yun, tapos na tayo sa top 5 nito. Let's switch to yun, net foreign buying for 15 days. Okay, same yung iba. Okay, tapos na yung tell. FGen, pinapansin. <laughs> net foreign buying. Sige nga, ching, tingnan natin yung FGen. Want to see may trade activity ba to? Mm -hmm. Mukhang ano lang to. Let me see the range. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can't make of it. Baka ano to. Okay, may subtle breakout. Basing from this plot, no? <laughs> may subtle breakout tayong nakikita. So, a lazy strategy would be, yung iba siguro sa inyo, bought at 16 pesos. 
and probably you're just planning to take take profits here. Yeah, same same script. EMA 200 resistance. So pag nauntog dito, probably you guys would sell. Pero kung hindi pa kayo bebenta, baka abutin niya pa tong level na to. 19 to 20. That would be the next target. If mag-breakout si ano, EMA 200. But again, right now, we're just gonna stick to the script. Just this resistance. Ganun lang. Untog alis. <laughs> Ganun. So that's our review for FGen. So let's take a look at Bloom. It's actually one of the stocks that is actually in my watch list. Yo, so this is what's happening with Bloom. Again, same script. Just gonna draw the lazy fib. Recent high hanggang dito sa last low niya. And then from there, we, we analyze anong movement niya. See, if you nyo guys, it's the same script. Ayan o. 61.8 nag bounce off dito sa reverse fib probably dito yung next ano niya target from 7.43 hanggang 7.76 diba ayun shout out kay Soral hello hello alam ko ay nagla live ka <laughs> tapos na live mo napadaan ka dito ya yeah, subscribe din kayo sa kanya malupit yan galing niyan sa Itoro <laughs> kita ko yung stats niya grabe nakaka-inspire anyway so ito yung targets natin for bloom but you have to watch out for this pala, yung parabolic sar dito. Naka-signal na downtrend. Ingat lang baka ma-fake out kayo din dito. So, either two, one of two things. Pwedeng maghintay kayo dito sa level na to. Itong 5.9 area. Siguro pwede kayo dito mag-isip ng plano. Or kung tingin yung fake out tong, tar- fake out tong gagawin niya, uuntugin lang niya tong parabolic sar. Hindi ya ibe-break out. Baka... He, we might see a revisit here at 61.8 dito sa level na to. So, this is, these are probably the levels to watch out for. So, that's our review for Bloom. Diba? Ilang minuto pa lang, no? Ang dami na nating na-review na chart. <laughs> Ilang minuto pa lang nakalipas. So, yeah, we're done with GSMI. Siguro pili tayo dito ng isa sa list. Kasi yung top 5 dito na analyze na. So, like yung Ali sa yung Ano to? PLDT. So, dito na tayo. Pili siguro ako isa. You know what? You know what? Let's pick S is... Ay, wait. Nasaan na yun? Ayun o, dito. Sige, dito na tayo. <laughs> Nandito na rin tayo. Iano na natin to. Inahype to ng karamihan eh. <laughs> Ayun. Dito. Well... Obvious naman. <laughs> Sabi ng parabolic star natin, it's on a downtrend. And trivia guys, actually naka-short to sa virtual portfolio ko. <laughs> I actually caught here sa so 1.70 area. I was performing a short. <laughs> so mukhang tama yung ano natin. Tama yung intellectual guess natin na mahuhulog siya. Ayan o. Ganda. <laughs> so now, right now, we're looking at these levels these lazy levels so we're looking at around 1.30 hanggang 1.5 so mamimili na lang kayo dyan kung saan yung gusto sumalo but if you were to ask me 1.5 looks strong mukhang ito yung nagka-count as support level na pero kung medyo barat kayo sa bid pwede ka naman kayo umabang dito 1.32 kung tingin yung bababa pa siya <laughs> so pwede kayo dito umabang okay Kung medyo optimistic kayo kay dito, pwede dito sa 1.5. Or kung hindi, kung tingin yung bababa pa siya, again yan. Abang lang kayo dito sa dalawang levels na to. And for the TP, yeah, if I were you guys, just respect the MA200 resistance dito na binibigay ng early. Alam ko nakaka-greedy yung daily, but as much as possible, wag muna kayo mag-expect na dun agad siya pupunta. No? So this is going to be the best case scenario for a short-term play for dito. Saka malaki na yung upside, oh. Mga 20 to 30-ish percent. Di pa kayo magiging masaya niyan. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ayan. Pero if ever it does break out, no? Pag nagtuloy-tuloy break out nito, ito yung magiging next niya pa. Kaya niya abutin siguro tres. Or pwede niyong sundan tong binibigay ng lazy retracement natin. Baka hanggang dyan. Pero this is for a best case scenario. So, again... Control your greed. Abutin nyo lang hanggang dito. 
So yan, tapos na tayo sa dito. Next ano na tayo, section. So ito yung nangyayari ngayon sa Ito yung net foreign buying for the last 30 days, no? Ito yung parang average. So we're looking at halos pare-pareho lang yung mga names, but we're seeing ayan, CNPF, I see Wilcon. Oh, na-capture yung Wilcon. Sige, tingnan natin yan. So let's start with CNPF first and then we go with Wilcon. And probably after this, titingin ako ng mga nasa watchlist ko and probably I'll entertain some chart requests if you guys have. So yan si NPF tig na natin ang yaris kanya. Uy, <laughs> fresh. <laughs> Ganda naman ng breakout nito. Nag breakout, subtle breakout guys. So oh. uptrend yung ano dito. Ano to? Uh, MEMA 200 uptrend. Sa kadito ng parabolic sar. So nandito yung price ngayon. No? Naglalaro siya sa taas. So we're actually looking at. Actually, dalawa yung pwede mangyari sa, sa kanya eh. Pwedeng, ano ba to? Baka double, double top bot, double bottom. Kasi ito yung nakikita ko, may V-shape pattern dito. Pwede siguro mahulog muna siya dyan. Probably ganyan ang gawin niya. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Kasi mukha ang lakas ng ano niya eh. Lakas ng tulak niya. From this perspective. Ah. And if we're going to look at the nearest resistance. Nandito siya. Yan, mayroon. Pwede yung siguro swing trade. Hanggang 15 pesos. Medyo mataas naman na to. For a short term play. Pwede na. But if it breaks out, let's see the daily. No? Ano yung next niyang pwedeng habulin? Malayo. So, assuming dito sa daily, mag-break out tong EMA 200. Ayan, may play din dito. It's another 10% upside or hanggang dito 16 to yan 17 ish pesos pero malabo na to kasi mukhang dito sa daily guys kasi malakas yung malakas yung EMA 200 resistance mukhang respetado siya so i wouldn't be overly optimistic yet with CN so ayun <laughs> meron kayo dito 10 to 15% upside for this stock code. <laughs> so, yan. So, a narrative that I would probably speculate here is mauuntog lang siya dito and probably do a retest at around these areas. So, we don't know yet. Di siya, ano, di pa siya malinaw. <laughs> Siguro itong maliit na, ano, support level na pinapakikya dito sa 13. This could be the initial support. Pero kung mag-breakdown man to, probably dito. Ditong yellow area sa abang ulit kayo dito. So that's our review for CNPF. Let's go for the last one before I go to my watch list. Ito, Wilcon. Yan. Mukhang super outlier to si Wilcon. <laughs> Let's see. Ay, hindi bumigay na pala siya. Okay. Mm. Ah, wow. Lala naman ang downtrend dito. Let's see what's actually happening. Mm, do I see divergence? Wala. Okay. Kala ko rin divergence. Di pala. Okay. It's just going down. Mukhang klaro na ba yung bottom nito? Parang hindi pa. So let's draw. This is a reverse Fibonacci. I mean corrective wave pala. If we're gonna do our lazy Elliot. So ito yung binibigay niya ngayon. Nag... Resist siya dito sa 17.43. So, nakikita niyo tong linya. Yung nagba-bounce off ito. So, may parang bounce off siya dyan. Patayin ko muna yung sir para mas makita niyo. Ayan, may parang untog dyan. And then, oh my God, na grabe yung lal. Grabe yung hukay, no? Mukhang nagko-consolidate siya dito. Sa areas na to. 12.5 hanggang 13-ish. So, pwede niyo sigurong panuorin muna tong levels na to. Pero overall, malala yung downtrend niya. Don't catch it yet. Tingnan niyo muna kung mag-hold to ng maayos. And probably look at lower time frames kung may makikita tayong pattern. Right now, it's not it's not attractive right now. Unless gusto niyo i-consult tong 15-minute time frame at mag-isip ng play dito. <laughs> but overall, yeah, it's, it's ano, di pa siya attractive. 
kahit sabihin natin may divergence din dito. <laughs> Lower time frame divergence. Yan, meron. Parang meron. If I'm plotting it right, may plotting it right, ay hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Mali pala. False alarm. <laughs> so, yan. Yeah, pababa lang siya. Baka reverse impulse din to. Pwede nyo siyang bilangin na ganun. So, yan. We're done. We're done with... Yeah, we're done with almost everything. Dito naman tayo sa watch list ko. So, these are the stocks in my watch list. So, isa-isahin natin yung mga hindi ko na analyze. Yung iba dito na analyze na natin. So, let's take a look at Ani. Actually, sinort ko to sa virtual ko, pero umalis na ako kasi may uptrend dito. Pinakita yung parabolic SAR. So, it might do something. So, we're just watching yung next move na pwede niyang gawin. So, ayun. Saka yan. Baka, ayun, no, malaki din yung upside. No? <laughs> Kaya ko rin inalisan muna. Baka kasi ito yung gawin yung next move. It's a, ano, 10 to 20% upside din. So, sayang. So, ito yung pinapanood ko. If it will do this move. Saka, tingnan nyo yung bull urban bear meter. Ang daming nag-buy up. Pero yun nga lang, konti din yung nag-participate noong Friday. So, baka hindi siya agad-agad. Or kung magparamdam lang to, baka subtle lang. So, yun ang napapansin ko kay Ani. So, next, Axelum. Ayan, this is one of the stocks that I'm also looking at. Ayan, kasi nag-breakout yung M8, MA200. So, ayan, mukhang shoot for the star siya, no? Ito yung, ito yung probably sinusunod niya. Nahabol niyang price, I mean. Nasa bandang 3 pesos. But, I'd like to see it, ano muna, retest? Or mag-consolidate muna siya dito? Before we think about entering? Kasi, if we're going to look back pa sa chart, may, may resistance area kasi dito. Sa area na to, yan o. Kung tinitignan niyo yung Feb 28 hanggang March 3 na range, ayan yung ano niya. And right now, mukhang hindi pa siya as in legit, legit na breakout. So, I might see it retest first. Pero kung hindi siya mag-retest, ito na yung next play na pwede niyang gawin. Either dito or dito. So, yun yung nakikita natin for Axelum. ba? Pabilisan mag-analyze. So, yan. Tapos tayo kay Axelum. So, tingin naman tayo sa financial sectors. We have BDO and BPI. So, let's go with BDO first. I was actually expecting this to hold 100, pero nakat ako dito sa virtual ko. Ay, hindi pa pala. BPI yata yung nakat. Hindi ko maalala kung BPI. Parang BPI. Dito pa pala siya. <laughs> I stand corrected. Pero yan, ito yung ginagawa ni BDO. Kaya ako rin siya pinapansin. Kasi in confluence yung Fibonacci dito sa levels na to. So, I'm watching this if it will hold. Kasi guys, pag nag-hold yan at biglang mag-rally up, yan, maganda rin yung ibibigay niya. Ayan. It's actually a good swing trade. So, probably a two-week hold for April. Tingnan natin, no? Kung sobra siyang papansinin. Kaso kasi nung Friday, yung dami rin nag-dump na foreign. 83 million. <laughs> Grabe, yung dami niyan tinapon. So, yan. Ingat lang kayo. But if you want to be conservative with your profit taking, pwede hanggang dito. 110 hanggang 115. Siguro ito na yung safest area to take profits. Or set your trail stops. Pwede rin ito yung trail stop area nyo. Kung nagde-trend following kayo. Nang pang short term. <laughs> area. Hanggang 125 yung nakikita natin. Possible target sa short term for video. So, ayun. <laughs> Next naman tayo. Let's look at BPI. Yan, BPI. Although, nag-signal siya ng downtrend. So, nakikita niyo yung parabolic star dito. Naka-downtrend, no? It's actually creating a good support here. May base naman siya. So, kung nakita niyo to, ayan. Maka malakas yung 61.8 nito. But if ever it doesn't hold, mag-cut na lang kayo somewhere dito sa levels na to. So, kayo na mamili. Depende rin sa position sizing nyo kung kaya ni ma-tolerate. Okay. And, 
again, same script guys, EMA 200 resistances, early, ayan, yan lang yung habulin nyo, okay, mag hanggang dun sa dulo. Unless may makita kayong catalyst sa kanya, but then by all means, probably hold kung kaya nyo. Pero sa mga taong may malaking position, probably you can do, ano ba, you can trim profits here, exit kayo sa 70, and if you think tataas pa siya, ayan, hold kayo hanggang umapot ng 70 to 80 pesos. So, that could be your second your second profit taking target. <laughs> Ayun. So, nasa na tayo? So, probably do two more before we wrap this up and end the stream. Uh, let's choose hmm, ano kaya? CHP. Tinan natin. Actually, maganda rin yung forma ng CHP kahit konti lang yung nagtitrade. This this stock is underrated for me. Ayan. So this is the current lazy plot. So I'm actually looking at 50%. Ito yung safest entry, in my opinion. Kasi easy din to cut pag nagkamali. Saka hindi rin masakit. Tingnan nyo yung percent lang. <laughs> so you could probably do a 4 tick stop. So, so 3 to 4 ticks. So kayo bahala. Kung kaya nyo i-tolerate yung ganitong percentage na loss. Saka maganda yung ano ka, kasi niya, yung risk-reward ratio. Kasi ito yung potential na nakikita natin. Yan, mataas. Hanggang dito. So, we're looking at a 10 to 24 percent reward. Depende kung paano yung execute. But that's what we're seeing based from this lazy speculation. So, that's our review for CHP. Tapos, mahuhulog lang siya pag nauntog siya sa MA200. Ay, noong tagal, oh. Kung zoom out nyo yung long-term picture din ito. So, simula 2019 ng August. Tinan nyo, guys, oh. <laughs> Downtrend pa rin. <laughs> Grabe to. Walang awat, baba lang ng baba. Pero, yeah, kung investor kayo, wag nyo lumayo muna kayo dito kay CHB. Pero kung active trader kayo, this is probably worth considering. Yan. So... Yeah, we're done here. So, last two. Ito na sa portfolio natin. At, actually, napwestohan to sa whole port. <laughs> Itong si Home. This is one of my underrated stocks on the list as well. Kasi ang layo niya din sa MA, EMA 200. Kaya pinapansin ko rin to. And if we're gonna plot the Lazy Elliot retracement over here, ito yung ginagawa niya. Actually, ganda ng bounce off niya dito. So, if we draw it, and what do you guys observe? My confluence yung parabolics are dito sa 38.2. So, if this actually holds next week, we're expecting it to probably bounce hanggang dito. Kung, ano kayo, kung swing trader kayo, a good swing hanggang 5 to 5.10 is probably decent. But if you think it will break out this level, or kung breakout trader kayo, you would probably and, ano, create a trade plan if it breaks resistance. So, kung na-break tong area na to, probably, ayan, this would be your target profit. Or even hanggang dun sa dulo. Hanggang dito, or dito. Or erecta nyo na hanggang EMA 200, kayo bahala. But overall, it's an attractive, ano, <laughs> Attractive yung pinapakita niyang upside. Pero yun nga lang, downside of this one, mm, let's see. Meron ba? Wait lang. Wala rin, parang wala rin tong divergence. Unless we switch to lower time frames, baka dun lalabas. Parang meron siya, you know? Yeah, actually it has. Sa 15 minute pala. So, you have a bullish divergence na medyo mahaba or yan dito nagsimula hanggang dyan so we're looking at there it's a bullish divergence maganda sana na yung reset nito sa 15 minute kaso bumigay dito yung RSI so yan medyo 50-50 na to <laughs> ingat lang so there <laughs> tapos na tayo sa home yun yun lang yata masasabi ko for home <laughs> and let's go to the last one hmm and then, yeah, maglagay lang kayo ng chart request nyo. 
kung meron man. Pero kung wala na, I'm just going to end this stream in a bit. So, let's see. Pili tayo. Ano bang gusto nyo? MWC, Pure Gold, or Tech? Mm. Okay, let's trust my gut. Mm. MWC? Tignan natin. Or I should have gone with Pure Gold. Hindi, Pure Gold na lang kasi ang daming nag-trade. Mataas yung value traded. Ay, wow. Lakas ni Pure Gold, oh. Okay, let's trace the current Elliot plot of this. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ano to, diagonal ba to? I'm not even sure if it's an impulse. Let me just trace it. Ano ba nangyayari? But first impression agad, nakikita ko may bearish divergence. So probably I could just draw the retracement hanggang dito na. Irekta na natin. And yan, no? Pababa siya. Pok. Ito. Yan. It's a bearish divergence. So hintay kayo ng retrace. Probably meron dito. May bounce somewhere here. Maghihintay na lang kayo dito. But if you think malakas yung... Ano to? 36? If you think it's a strong support, pwede kayo siguro dito bumesto. And next reward would be around these levels over here. Ito. Or itong green area. <laughs> Alayo. Pero malabo to. <laughs> Unless overly optimistic kayo. So, we might just see it play around here. So, hanggang dyan lang siguro siya. Kasi, ayan o, layo pa niya. <laughs> Sa kahit i-1 hour ko, wala. Ito talaga yung pinapakita niyang resistance. So, we can't be greedy lagpas dito yet. <laughs> Hindi pa. <laughs> I don't see it happening soon. <laughs> so, yun. We're done, we're done. Let's go to the last one. Uh, actually, may gusto ako ikwento. Ito yung magiging probable trend din pala. Si Oil for this week. So, I just read this. Ano, kanina lang. <laughs> may friend ako sa Facebook na shinare niya to sa akin. Na, ayan nga. May incoming Black Swan event kay Oil. Kasi imu-move down nila yung schedule ng OPEC meeting nila. So, babag, malaking chance na babagsak yung oil. And we're going to look at the chart right now kung saan siya pwedeng pumunta. Actually, trinay ko to i-short sa itoro ko, but yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> Mali-mali lang yung pag, ano ko, pwesto. But we're looking at a gap down. It's highly possible. Kasi, if we're gonna look at this chart, and we're gonna draw the lazy Elliot. <laughs> Bag, hindi ko na itatap to bottom dito muna. Ito kasing initial plot ko. At least for me, ah. Tingnan nyo to, ah. So, this was my initial plot for oil. Nakita natin may unang pivot resistance siya dito. So, trinate ko tas 100%. Then, I observed na nag-hold to. Itong 38.2. So, 20.25 siya nag laro. And then, yun. Dumaldal si Trump. Ayan, lumipad siya. <laughs> Simula Thursday hanggang Friday. So, so, kita nyo the power of the Trump indicator. Ayan. Kita nyo yung third level. Ito yung pinakita. I was originally expecting the third level to hit here. Eh, biglang, ayun, nang hype si Trump. Biglang, ayan, nilipad hanggang $25 yung oil. <laughs> And it did a 4 over here, which hit our lazy fib. <laughs> Ang sakto eh, no? Tap, medyo bounce off dito sa EMA 200. And then, yan. Walang paawat, lumipad ba hanggang 5? <laughs> walang pata, walang awat talaga. Pero yun nga, guys. Expect a gap down <laughs> starting tomorrow. And obvious re for obvious reasons na din. Ayan, no? Tuk! Yan. <laughs> Bearish, yes. You can't really trust Trump. <laughs> yeah, 12% gain nga si Oil. Thank you for pointing that out. So, yan o. Obvious na divergence, guys. So, ano, pipilitin niya pang lumipad. <laughs> and, ayan. Ito na yung resistance niya, o. 
kikita nyo yan, switch nga natin sa candlestick. Ano yung pinapakita? Yung mukhang patulak, oh. Tinan nyo yung wicks dito. Sa, kahit sabihin nyo, bullish yung candle. Yan, mahuhulog yan. <laughs> Laking chance na mahuhulog yan. So, yan. That's why masaya maglines, lines Diba? Less noise. <laughs> okay, we're done. Last na tayo. Tingnan lang natin yung BTC position ko, no? Naka-virtual trade ako. So, actually, torn pa ako kay BTC kung anong susundan kong bias sa kanya. Kasi minsan si BTC sinusundan niya yung lagayan ng, ano, ng Dow Jones. Yun yung napansin ko. At least sa experience ko sa pag-trade nito. So, right now, I'm performing a short. <laughs> so, this is Snapex. So, sa mga gusto mag-try dito. Okay naman siya so far. Di, di ko pa balak mag real account pero ya yeah, inaaral ko pa kung paano siya so this is what I'm seeing for Bitcoin <laughs> it completed the five impulse from this perspective so kung nakikita nyo to this is this is my initial so if we're going to draw ay sorry yeah. tinatamad na kasi ako ayusin yung ano nito pero ito yung levels niya Gawin nga natin one color para mas makita nyo. There! See? It's, it looks like a five. So, let's count it. Nasaan yung ano ko? Yan. Impulse. Mukhang ganyan. One, two. Actually, dapat ito yung three. Eh. <laughs> three, four, five. Di ko alam kung truncated fifth ko. I'm not sure if this counts as such. Pero yun nga yung nangyayari kay Bitcoin. Mukhang ganun nga. <laughs> so, we're looking at an ABC. An ABC correction. That's about to happen soon. So, if we're going to draw the Fibonacci for the correction, for the corrective wave, it would be something like this. So, kaya rin ako naka-short. Ayan. So, mukhang somewhere here yung cut ko. Okay. Bakit dyan yung cut ko? Kasi ito yung sabi ng parabolic star. Ayan, dito. Basta above dito. So, naglagay ako ng leeway. Somewhere here yung magiging cut ko. And then, the the reward, the area for taking profits would be at this area. Itong itong malaking chunk dito. If you look left. So, dito ako naglalaro ngayon. Okay. So, there. I hope you guys enjoyed our charting session. Sana marami kayo napulot, marami kayo natutunan. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel at tingin nyo makakatulong ako sa journey nyo, please do subscribe. And meron din akong pinaprepare na isa pang ano, ay shit, nasa na yun? Nawawala. Anyway, may pinaprepare din akong ano, secret Facebook group. So, inaayos ko pa yung mga laman nun. So, abangan nyo na lang din sa page ko for the announcement. So, we're done for tonight. And thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been your boy Alex Corner from The Trading Comedy. And I wish you luck in all your trades. And good luck for this week sa PSE kung maglalaro man kayo. Yan. Paalam guys. And have a good night.